Now we have a very special guest in studio for our Friday morning newsmaker with Matt. Morning, Matt. Good morning, Diane. Boy, you hit that one right on the head. This is a man we probably don't see enough of over here. We need to invite him back as, as often as we can. He does a lot for our community. You may see him more often than not during our St. Jude telethon. He is the man responsible for the homes that get built out there. I'm talking about Jairo Alvarez. He's here with us now this morning to talk a little bit about that, a little about a birthday coming up. And did you know, he's an author as well. Pleased to welcome Jairo yeah. Alvarez. Good to see you this morning, Jairo. Nice How are you? Nice to see you, Matt. Thank you for having me. Well, it, we, like I said, love having you. We need to have you more because, I mean, you just do uh, so much here. And I wanted to, let's start, actually, everybody knows you through St. Jude and the right. fact that you are the man and the construction company behind the building of the homes. And this week, this week, you started building yes. the new home, correct? We're ready. Is, We're and what ready. number is this? We are going to raise, I, well, this is number 10 for our this company. This is number 10. Uh, we hope to raise, uh, this year, we need to raise, with the help of the community, 1,000,000.5. 1 1.5 um, for the telephone. With telephone. that, we will complete my goal to have $12 million for some use. That's right. That's, that's, now, that's a goal years. that you set at the very beginning of your involvement, correct? I, I set it for 10, but then I couldn't give I up. I know. <laughs> I remember you saying that. You no, set it for I, 10 years and no, said, I'm not good. No, I got a new one. Oh, right. I don't tell you. What did the number? <laughs> tell, tell us after the end of this telethon. <laughs> yeah. So you've begun building this new home already. This is something that really is a, it, it's, it's part of your life. It really is a driving yeah, oh yeah. force. It is part. It is part. This is, a, and speak, you know, speaking of your life, you're about to celebrate 70 years. 70 years. And you're going to do it with a bike ride on the levee tomorrow, yeah. riding 70 miles yeah. with a bunch of different uh, gr bicycle right. groups from around here, right. correct? Yeah, Matt, uh, about over five years, four years ago. I was 42 pounds overweight, mm -hmm. so I decided to have my bike and get out, and in the last three years, I have the, the senior uh, champion for Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. I've been a couple of times in the National Olympics representing Louisiana, wow. and I have a goal. I have a goal to bring a gold medal in the Olympics next year from uh, San Francisco, so uh, I going to start tomorrow. We are going to be at the uh, Burbank and Blue Bonnet in the parking lot of okay. Albertson. Yeah. I invite all the cyclists. Uh, no matter, you don't have to do 70 miles. Bring your bike, by the way. Yeah, no kidding. If you want to make yeah. only one mile, make a mile. We are going to adjust to all the different conditions of the people. And but you're going to try to get 70. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's going to be, it's a good, good challenge for myself. You're going to have beautiful weather. Diane yeah, has, has brewed you up something that's, so nice. That's what she was saying morning. just a few minutes ago. She it's punched the nice the button just for you. Oh, yeah, she worked with me. I told her about a week ago, I know. a month ago, to to make the plan for me in that way. Well, so. she's sweet on you. She yeah, likes you a She put way. a huge umbrella well, on there the you go. She's domed it for you. <laughs> um, I want to talk a little bit about this book, No Such yeah. Thing as Impossible. I don't know if we get a shot of this. Now, this is a book that, that, uh, that you wrote. It's really all about your life, your family's life, as you made the transition from Colombia to the United States, what it took, everything involved with mm -hmm. this, really is a, a life story about, not, not just yours, but a family's journey. Right, correct, correct, Matt. And a couple of years ago, I was, uh, uh, I had a great experience with the cancer, and uh, my children surprised yeah. me coming to the hospital with their tape recorded and asking me to record some of my experience. Sure. I have seen my library is simple, but uh, they made me think about I said, what is going on behind this? And uh, my life has been full of challenges. I have been in the most incredible situation a human being uh, could, could be here yeah. in Colombia, in America, because come from raising up in the mountains of Colombia in a potato farm with no water, no electricity, no nothing. And, then end up in uh, in the military, and I was a teenager. I was fighting the guerrillas in the jungle in, yeah. as a lieutenant, yeah. uh, and I was then uh, uh, in charge of the security of the president when President Kennedy went to Colombia, and I had beautiful experience. And something when uh, uh, something happened that uh, for the good of my country and for my good, and a uh, 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 military aircraft put me down in Miami in the military force, and I start from scratch with no language, you know, no, no, basically no money, no nothing, and, and here I am very successful due to uh, uh, my faith in God and, uh, and the support of many angels. That, that what I dedicate my book to all my angels, because here in America you find angels all over the place. Angels everywhere. I remember yeah. you and I talking about this when you first yeah. gave me this book, the fact that 
you were glad your kids did this because you were you were a little little troubled with the fact that your father had so many stories and none of them were handed down, written out, passed down. Yeah, yesterday I have a beautiful experience. I ordered I catch it about a month ago, mm -hmm. training on the bike, and I broke three uh, three ribs, oh. and I had to buy a new helmet. And yesterday I have that helmet. And uh, I have the helmet with uh, nine languages, in nine languages. No kidding. And I said, and now I have a beautiful grandson. He's a year old. He, he comes to visit me, and he's like a little pet, crawling around. And I look at him, and I said, oh, look, what is the manual for this kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he got a problems with, the, he ever had any sure. problems with weight, or alcohol, or sure. cigarettes, or prescription drugs, or marriage, or the military, like I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with the book because and now, he's a, now he's got this to look back at. I want to mention something yeah, very yeah. important. Uh, well, I want to so, make sure we got to go yeah. right real quick, but I want to make sure that the, the people know about the book signing. That January all the profits 26th. are going to go to charity. Yeah, absolutely. All the profits That's are going to charity, and we've got another book signing. His other, his last book signing on the eighth sold out of books. This one, January 26th, Barnes and Noble. Get out there, as he mentioned. All the profits going to charity. Hi, Ron Alvarez. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank We're you very, see you very, very much. Soon. And I hope to see the cycle. Absolutely. Have, have a seat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you go, we all have to go. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Oh, you need to get the bike ready.